Hello and welcome to The Space Between Ideas. I'm Blaine Gates. Hopefully, Crisp is going to help us to improve our sound quality today. Now, I just wanted to start out by just remembering that we're talking about um, Ivory Coast cashews. So with this cashew company, it's a factory. Uh, the, the lady that I was working with, she's the manager. So cashew purchasing company, conventional and organic. So they, what I mean by purchase, they purchase uh, the raw material um, from cashew. Uh, well, this is, she's actually the. All right. So, okay. So they want to keep their current customers. They have a quality to sell and they have the customers to sell them to continue doing business, have more clients, much more how much of their factory space are they using? Uh, so actually this was the time uh, Yeah, here. So factory that processes cashews to sell conventional cashews to our customers. Now that we only sell organic. So actually what they wanted to do was they wanted to have some kind of cooperation with some other, uh, cashew company because they already have, uh, customers and they, so there's customers who want to buy conventional cashews. But the problem is that their factory, they've, they've turned to organic. And so they're looking for another big processor to send them processed cashews. So they're, for example, they're looking for uh, a factory who's only using 60% of their capacity, and then they would be able to ramp up production in that other factory. All right, so, and then here we can start to look at how they support. So we want cashews, the whole kernels, the broken kernels, the pieces. It's easy for them to understand your needs. We agreed to follow the AFI standards for cashew kernels. They are buying cashews from a broker, processed raw material, buy the cashews, buy all types of cashews. All right, so this is this is a simple relation, a simple business relationship as they started to move to organic cashews. Now, of course, this is based on the checklist state teamwork from the book Create Crucial Insight, where you list the entities, you talk about the outcomes, reuses, and how they support each other. Now, this is not the only, like, this is the main book that I teach, but, you know, as I learn new things, uh, I like to use tools that other people use. So, um, at one point, I finally found this book from Google, the Business Model Generation book, and this led to another conversation. So, in this book, if we look at the first uh, section about, not value proposition, but the customer segments, and we go into these questions or these bullet points, we find out that customers, customer segments uh, are customers who have needs which require and justify a distinct offer. So there's like three elements. You have your customer needs, you have your customer segment or your customer group, their needs and the offer. All right. So what happened was basically uh, we went from you know, we went from our business, we went from our Create Crucial Insight, and we jumped into the business model canvas, and that's what started this conversation here. So we got our business segments, we have our customer needs, and we have our offers. The question is, is it possible to find factories that can easily pivot to begin selling organic cashews? As they're, it, So we're looking for factories who either, who either process cashews as their main product or part of another product. And that's when this manager started looking for other factories. So for example, for organic, um, already selling. All right. So basically they, they're just looking for, um, for, for new customers who want to purchase organic cashews now that they've moved. So with, with conventional already selling other nut organic products, so they could find a factory who already, who already produces, um, nuts and then switch to this product. So what they want to do is they want to source 10,000 metric tons of raw material. They wanted to set up a, a second factory. They want to respect the quality standards in the factories running a new service. So fresh product, shortest shipping time, two weeks, respect the contract. So they already have contracts with these, with these companies ethically produced, fully certified, highest standards, you know, fill rate, reliability, reputation, all these things. So they're looking for someone who can, who can ship between 65 and 150 containers dealing with the process in Africa. They need a better product. All right. So this is one of the checklists we use to start to think about the factory situation and how to find a new factory.